Yeah, we back. We back. NBA 2K25. Man, man, man. I just heard some news that just made me really want to get up, make this video. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. Like, there's so many people still hating on 2K on Twitter. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not biased at all because, you know, I don't really care. I've just stopped playing this game every time it gets boring. There's a lot of things I don't like, but we're not going to like, you know, I'm going to say I'm going to say those, but we're going to get to the things, you know, that I like, too. But one thing I want to say is that they have new. I kind of don't like it is the little proving grounds thing they have. I'm going to just bring up the little chart. I, I like the rank system. All right, so we have the proving grounds. Bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, top ranked. Uh, I can see myself around maybe platinum. I don't know if I'm going to be playing that much. I know I'm not getting top ranked. Leaderboards that update daily track the top ranked players per game type. And if you are in the top 100 of any proving ground game mode, your rank will also be shown off on your gamer play the top five ultimate competitors who hold top rank status will receive 2x rep in that game time and a top rank logo that displays their rank so long as they are in the top five along with a special animated player banner in nba 2k25 there are prizes for the top five finishers in each game type in each season this year proving grounds is the true place to compete in the city and we can't wait to see the winning legacies you build all right so basically uh for what I've seen in the little screenshot, hold on, I'm gonna bring up the screenshot too. It just looks like Proving Grounds just like a whole different mode though. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Like I know I'm gonna play it. When I play 2K, I just like, I don't know. It's just like the park, like, and that's what I'm about to get into too. But you know, I just had to show you guys this. I kind of like the system. You know, they kind of, I'm not gonna say copied, everybody does it, but like I've been playing the Valorant a lot. So like, yeah, platinum, diamond, well, no diamond, but plat, gold, all that. Uh, I think it is diamond. Oh no, I just started playing Valorant console. It's very fun. I'm not gonna lie, it really took over me playing 2K. But like, this is a nice little mode to have. I just don't like how, from what I've seen, it's like a jersey they give you only type game mode. I, I wish it was more like a free or just all around the park. But that park has its own little thing. I think, you know, they're, they're just different reps and rewards ranks for like every mode. It seems like this year. One thing they did do that was great to me was adding the squad finder uh, for park. I feel like this is great for y'all. Uh, I know I'm be using this for centers most likely to just find some random centers to play with a lot. But yeah, uh, play style kind of corny. I wouldn't trust anybody in time to sweat. Uh, I'm not trusting that. Hopefully uh, it shows more than just this. I feel like they need to add like a shoot, shooting percentage, something like actual stats. Cause like you telling me time to sweat is crazy. Like. Uh, I would probably think you're 12 and I'm good off you. I don't want to play. But hopefully there is a way you can see they stats before like you do all the extra stuff. But from here, it just looks very plain, straightforward, squad size three. But this is a good little thing. I feel like this is a W. W for 2K. They added this. That was a, a great a great thing to add. A great addition because a lot of y'all be playing with randoms, and I, which I know. Uh, they don't even have to be that good. If you could just find people that care in this mode, like squad finder, then you'll be better off playing. Uh, than just playing with randoms but great news we got river city after they uh won the park rivals event uh even though they should have lost everybody who played 16 knows that you know rivet was trash nobody should have won that they were always losing it should have been sunset but this park is back but it is in my team but there's good news you know i had to, I had to bring this out first the bad news but we got great news well great but not great yes 2k 15 parks are back long awaited y'all know me i always post like and talk about 15 16 17 i've always said 15 has one of the like most beautiful parks it just brings real life like you see cars driving by it's just like it's just great it's just a great game i feel like the nostalgia will hit for me uh you know I just feel like it'll make me want to play the game more because it just brings back all the old vibes. Like I'm saying this before I even play because I know I used to I hop on 15, 16, 17 offline just to dribble, have fun, like just look at the what I can. So here we have the old school Flyers. Y'all know Flyers is like one of the nicest parks too, but River gives you that real city vibes, and uh, Flyers just gives you that. I don't know, it's just the look, like the feel. Like if you wasn't there, I cannot explain it, but. This is a huge W for 2K, but this is not our actual park, sadly. I heard this was seasonal parks, 
basically meaning there's probably like a portal we go in to play at one of these courts at a time every season like first season it might be old rivet we play at and then season two 2k comes we rotate oh my god look at sunset oh my god i just hope the music echoes like how it did in 15 but we might rotate to sunset or flyers old town but it's going to be a rotation every season i'm just wondering what are they going to do after like you know season three because there's three different parks here three different affiliation parks so my main concern is what are we going to do after the first three seasons are we just going to rotate back to the other one i wouldn't mind that i promise you tk y'all could be lazy just please don't take it out either y'all could rotate uh rotate back to this or we could hop on 2k 17 parks because i know y'all could do it y'all always talk like you can't but here we are right now copy paste mode i have no problem with this copy paste i wish i would copy and paste a lot of other things but y'all don't hughes w flyers great sunset great river great thank you 2k we finally got something we asked for even though it's not the official parks and sad to say guys cities is back I'm not giving this a lot of attention. Uh, as you can see here, uh, one of the elite, elite right here, um, just a huge battleship taking up 122 gigabytes of your game. This is why the game is a lot of gigabytes right here. If you could see the 19, ooh, no, 1700s uh, pirate ship. It's like 100 gigabytes right there, you know, it's just trash. And then we have uh, Voltrons or Power Range, whatever you want to call it, anything. Robots from Spy Kids, like, uh, yeah. All that is there. I'm not giving this a lot of attention because I don't know why they decide to do this. Your main audience is adults by now. Y'all are charging too much for to make a player uh, for y'all to think kids are on this game. That is so childish. Those are so childish. I'm tired of it. Uh, and here's the city. These, this, I promise you. I'm not even mad because as long as I can play my seasonal park, you know, from time to time, hopefully it come it's out like when the game first drops. I'm happy. Like, you know, so they could do what they want right there. Well, I wish they would fix it and take that out, but you know, they're not. But uh yeah, next. Alright, so here's the affiliation home elite and rise, you know, uh rookie starter veteran legend. I'm feeling the proven grounds of plat diamond more than this, you know. Uh but I will be playing it. I will try to hit veteran. I will be playing this game this year, guys. Make sure I like the video if you haven't already. I'm back just off the nostalgia, like, and I do miss YouTube, so <clears throat> I'm gonna start getting back on this, but whew. I can't, I can't wait. I just want to play my old parks. Like, look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, 2K. Thank you. Okay. Last but not least, I just want to show this other screenshot before I just, you know, talk a little. Uh, we have the stage, the NBA 2K25 stage. I thought it would have been like a 15, 16 stage, you know, I'll bring back high rollers since that's what we own. But, you know, I'm not even going to knock this. You know, it looks, it doesn't look bad. Marble flows. You already know. Uh, it looks, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's just new. Uh, there's not really nothing to say negative about it. I feel like it's pretty clean looking court. Gives me Terminal 23 vibes, but it doesn't because it's like, you know, more gold. Uh, I will give this a W. Uh, at least they did something new from last year to the last few years. And, uh, yeah, I just hope the movement is better, if anything, on the whole game itself. Overall, I've been seeing a lot of W's for 2K, some L's, but I feel like the good outweighs the bad nowadays uh my expectations are very low i just hope the movement dribbling is better from what i've seen it looks smoother than last year from what i've seen i just hope i have a little more stamina you know something to help the dribblers because i swear it was like dribbling is a part of the game like i don't know why they try to glorify these post scores with barbecue chicken badges all this but from what i've seen it doesn't matter how bad dribbling looks i know youtubers that don't really like have a, like a lot of followings but they always find a way like i know them you know the community knows them they always find a way to dribble and that's what i'm here for i'm here for nostalgic vibes just to have fun i am gonna sweat i'm not gonna lie game looks great let me know what y'all think uh i'm not getting into any builders anything like that i'm not that type of uh news person i don't want to do that but i will be dropping some builds if i do find anything great but yeah let me know what y'all think in the comments make sure y'all like subscribe if y'all new 2k25 uh how many more days i don't even know about what four i don't know like four or five more days but yeah y'all i'm out and uh yeah